In the glittering world of Hollywood, few names shine as brightly as Humphrey Bogart. With his rugged charm and unforgettable screen presence, he left an indelible mark on the film industry. Born in Wicked 1899, Bogart began his career as a stage actor before transitioning to the big screen. His breakthrough role came in 1941 with The Maltese Falcon, where he played the hard-boiled detective Sam Spade. This performance catapulted him to stardom and established him as a leading man. Over the next decade, Bogart delivered a series of iconic performances in films like Casablanca, The Big Sleep, and The African Queen, earning him two Academy Awards. Bogart's characters were often complex and morally ambiguous, which added depth and realism to his performances. His ability to convey emotion through subtle gestures and facial expressions set him apart from his peers. Despite his tough exterior, Bogart was known for his kindness and generosity off-screen, earning him the respect and admiration of his colleagues. Bogart's legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers today. His impact on the film industry is undeniable, and his body of work remains a testament to his talent and enduring appeal. Through his films, Bogart's spirit lives on, captivating audiences and leaving a lasting impression on the world of cinema. Humphrey Bogart is a classic Hollywood actor known for his tough guy persona and distinctive voice. You might recognize him from films like Casablanca or The Maltese Falcon. Can you recall the first work of Bogart you watched? Out of his many legendary roles, which one do you think defined his career? We all have our own cherished memories related to this iconic star, and we would love to hear about yours in the comments below. We have many fun, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Bogart. So keep watching this video. Perhaps you remember Bogart from his iconic role in Casablanca, where he played the nightclub owner Rick Blaine. Or maybe it was his portrayal of Detective Sam Spade in The Maltese Falcon that stood out to you. Either way, Bogart's impact on cinema is undeniable. So let us know your thoughts. Which Bogart role do you think is the most iconic? And what's your favorite memory or personal experience related to this classic star? We can't wait to hear from you. Humphrey Bogart, born in Wadey 1899 in New York City, was the son of a prominent surgeon and a successful illustrator. Despite his privileged upbringing, Bogart had a rebellious streak which led him to pursue a career in acting. Bogart's first exposure to acting came in his early years when he attended the prestigious Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts. However, he was expelled for poor behavior and ended up joining the Navy during World War I. After the war, Bogart returned to New York and began his acting career on stage. He struggled for many years, taking on small roles and working as a ship's hand on the side. In the 1920s, he finally started to gain recognition for his work in Broadway productions. Bogart's big break came in 1936 when he was cast in the film The Petrified Forest. Director William Wyler saw Bogart's potential and fought for him to get the part, even though Warner Brothers initially wanted a bigger name for the role. Bogart's performance in the film caught the attention of audiences and critics alike, and he quickly became a sought-after actor in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Bogart worked with many influential directors and actors, including John Huston, Lauren Buckhall, and Ingrid Bergman. He was known for his tough guy persona and his distinctive voice, which became his trademark. Bogart's mentors included actors Leslie Howard and Spencer Tracy, who encouraged him to develop his own style and not to imitate others. Bogart's unique approach to acting and his ability to convey complex emotions with just a glance or a subtle gesture set him apart from his contemporaries and cemented his place as a Hollywood legend. Humphrey Bogart, a name synonymous with classic Hollywood cinema, was an exceptional actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry. Born in Wedi 1899, Bogart's career spanned over three decades during which he captivated audiences with his distinctive voice, rugged charm, and authenticity. Bogart's breakthrough role came in 1941 with The Maltese Falcon, where he played the hard-boiled detective Sam Spade. This role catapulted him to stardom and paved the way for more iconic performances in films like Casablanca and The African Queen. His ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance made him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. Despite facing numerous challenges early in his career, including being typecast as a heavy or villain, Bogart persevered and transformed himself into one of the most celebrated actors of his time. 
He was instrumental in shaping the film noir genre, and his influence can still be felt today. Bogart's legacy extends beyond his film roles. He was known for his unwavering integrity, professionalism, and loyalty to his craft. He famously said, The only thing you owe the public is a good performance, a sentiment that continues to inspire actors today. In conclusion, Humphrey Bogart was a remarkable actor who left a lasting impact on the film industry. His enduring legacy is a testament to his talent, dedication, and unforgettable performances. Humphrey Bogart's passion for acting took root in his early years as he found solace in the stage while struggling in school. Raised in an affluent family in New York City, Bogart was expected to follow a traditional path. However, his rebellious spirit led him to drop out of college and pursue a career in the arts. In the 1920s, Bogart found work in various Broadway productions, often playing small, unimportant roles. His big break came in 1935 when he was cast in the film The Petrified Forest. His portrayal of the menacing gangster Duke Mantique caught the attention of both audiences and critics, and Bogart's career began to take off. Despite his newfound success, Bogart never lost his love for the craft. He once said, Acting is not about being someone different. It's finding the similarity in what is apparently different, then finding myself in there. This passion for discovering the humanity within each character drove Bogart to deliver powerful and memorable performances throughout his career. Bogart's dedication to his craft and his ability to bring depth and complexity to his roles have left an indelible mark on the world of acting. His legacy continues to inspire and influence actors today, making him a true icon of Hollywood's golden age. In the film Sabrina, Humphrey Bogart played the role of Linus Larrabee, who found himself in a romantic triangle with Audrey Hepburn, then 24, and William Holden, who was 35 at the time. It's interesting to note that Bogart was 53 years old during the filming in October and November of 1953. Bogart also starred in Beat the Devil, where he played Billy Danrather. Reportedly, Bogart had a negative view of the film which might be due to the fact that he lost a significant amount of his own money financing the production. In Key Largo, Bogart took on the character of Frank McLeod. This movie marked the on-screen reunion of Bogart, Edward G. Robinson, and Claire Trevor, who had previously co-starred in The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse in 1938. Comparing the two films reveals how the actors' careers had evolved over the preceding decade. Bogart had transitioned from a villainous role to the lead, while Robinson's career had gone in the opposite direction, and Trevor had moved from a leading role to a supporting one. Humphrey Bogart, a legendary actor, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Born into a well-off family, Bogart's parents disapproved of his acting aspirations, leading to financial struggles. He started his career in Broadway, but roles were scarce, and he barely made ends meet. Despite the hardships, Bogart's resilience was unwavering. He took on odd jobs to support his acting habit, including being a ship's hand and a car buyer for a dealership. These experiences, though tough, provided him with a unique perspective that later added depth to his on-screen characters. In Hollywood, Bogart faced skepticism from the industry. His rugged appearance and distinctive voice were not the typical leading man qualities of the time. However, he refused to conform and continued to hone his craft. He found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles, such as taking on supporting roles in films and making the most of his screen time. Bogart's breakthrough role as Sam Spade in The Maltese Falcon showcased his talent and proved the industry wrong. His portrayal of tough, yet vulnerable characters resonated with audiences and solidified his place in Hollywood. In summary, Humphrey Bogart's early career was marked by financial struggles and industry skepticism. But with his resilience and creative solutions, he overcame these obstacles and became a legendary actor, leaving behind a lasting impact on the film industry. Humphrey Bogart's performance as Lieutenant Sam Dr. Philip Francis Quig in the Kane Mutiny gained significant attention when Time Magazine featured him on its cover. In the film Dark Passage, Bogart's character, Vincent Perry, recuperates at Irene's apartment after surgery, with I guess I'll have to change my plan playing on the phonograph, possibly alluding to their previous film The Big Sleep. Bogart married Lauren Buckhall at the Malabar Farm in Ohio, the estate of Pulitzer Prize winning author Louis Bromfield, which is now an Ohio State Park. 
Humphrey Bogart's career had several breakthrough moments that shaped his image as a legendary actor. In the early 1930s, Bogart was mainly typecast in supporting roles, often as a villain. However, his performance in the 1936 film The Petrified Forest marked a turning point. He played the role of Duke Minty, a gangster, which was initially offered to Edward G. Robinson. Bogart's portrayal of the character was so powerful that it caught the attention of critics and audiences alike, leading to more substantial roles. In 1941, Bogart starred in The Maltese Falcon, directed by John Huston. This film noir classic was a significant breakthrough for Bogart, as he played the lead role of private detective Sam Spade. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Bogart's performance was highly praised. According to critic James Angie, Bogart, with his lean, laconic, insolent style, was ideal for the part. Another pivotal moment in Bogart's career was his role in Casablanca. The film became an instant classic, and Bogart's portrayal of Rick Blaine, the nightclub owner with a mysterious past, further solidified his status as a leading man. The film's director, Michael Curtis, once said, Bogart could be tough without being vulgar, and he had a sense of humor that was never corny. In 1951, Bogart starred in The African Queen alongside Katherine Hepburn. The film was a significant departure from his usual tough guy roles, and Bogart's performance as Charlie Alna, a drunken riverboat captain, earned him his only Academy Award for Best Actor. Director John Huston commented, Bogart's performance in The African Queen was a revelation. He proved that he was not just a tough guy, but also a talented actor capable of great depth and vulnerability. These breakthrough moments not only showcased Bogart's versatility as an actor, but also cemented his place in Hollywood history as a legendary leading man. His ability to portray complex characters with nuance and depth continues to inspire actors today. Humphrey Bogart has a street named after him in Halstead, Pennsylvania, his birthplace. In the film The Petrified Forest, Bogart played the role of Duke Minty, a world-famous murderer. The director, Archie Mayo, framed many of Bogart's shots with a headdress mounted on the wall behind him, creating the illusion of demonic horns. In the film Beat the Devil, Bogart played the character Billy Danruther. Bogart, through his production company Santana Pictures, Inc., bought the film rights to the novel the movie was based on. He partnered with Romulus Films, Limited, and Italian producers to create a co-production arrangement. Bogart reduced his usual salary of $200,000 to a lower amount to cover the costs of the film's production. Humphrey Bogart, a legendary actor, was known for his distinctive style and approach to his work. He had a unique ability to convey complex emotions and thoughts with just a glance or a simple line. Bogart's creative process was deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. He was known for his meticulous preparation, spending hours studying his character's background, motivations, and relationships. Bogart believed that understanding his character's inner life was crucial to delivering a believable and compelling performance. He once said, the only thing you can't fake is feeling. Bogart's worldview was shaped by his experiences in the military, his struggles as a young actor, and his personal relationships. These experiences gave him a deep understanding of human nature, which he brought to his roles. He often played characters who were cynical, world-weary, and fiercely independent, reflecting his own worldview. One of Bogart's most notable qualities was his ability to convey a sense of authenticity in his performances. He was not afraid to show vulnerability or to portray characters who were flawed or morally ambiguous. This authenticity made his performances resonate with audiences and has contributed to his enduring popularity. Bogart's style was characterized by his understated delivery and his ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety. He often used his facial expressions and body language to communicate his character's thoughts and feelings rather than relying on dialogue. This approach gave his performances a sense of depth and nuance that has made them timeless. In conclusion, Humphrey Bogart's artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. His meticulous preparation, authenticity, and subtlety made his performances compelling and enduring. Bogart's unique style and approach have left a lasting mark on the world of cinema and continue to inspire actors today. Humphrey Bogart, a prominent figure in the world of cinema, 
played various memorable roles. In the film The African Queen, he acted as Charlie Allnutt while his director, John Huston, learned about his daughter Angelica's birth during the shoot. The news took two days to reach the remote filming location in the Belgian Congo. In The Barefoot Contessa, Bogart portrayed Harry Dawes, and an issue arose when the studio planned to release the film's poster without his image, violating their contract. Bogart stepped in and ensured the addition of a large drawing of his face. Bogart's role as Rick Blaine in Casablanca is another iconic performance. In this movie, Ingrid Bergman, playing Ilsa, never tells her husband she loves him, but she confesses her love for Rick in a poignant scene in his flat. These instances demonstrate Bogart's impact on the film industry and his dedication to his craft. Humphrey Bogart, a legendary actor, significantly influenced the film industry with his distinctive style and powerful performances. His impact is still felt today, as many cite him as a source of inspiration. Bogart's signature tough guy persona, combined with his smoldering intensity, made him a captivating presence on screen. He often played complex characters with depth, such as Rick Blaine in Casablanca and Detective Philip Marlowe in The Big Sleep. These roles helped to elevate the status of film noir and shape the way future filmmakers approach storytelling. Industry experts and fellow actors have praised Bogart's contributions to the field. Director Woody Allen once said, Bogart could be tender and touching, but he could also be a son of a bitch. He was just the coolest guy. Actor Steve Martin echoed this sentiment, stating, Bogart was the essence of cool, and he was a fantastic actor. Bogart's influence extends beyond the silver screen. His impact can be seen in the fashion world, where his signature look including his fedora, trench coat, and unbuttoned shirt continues to inspire modern style. Additionally, Bogart's legacy has been honored through various awards and accolades, including his posthumous induction into the American Theatre Hall of Fame. In summary, Humphrey Bogart's contributions to the film industry were immense, shaping both the way stories were told and the way actors approach their craft. His enduring legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Humphrey Bogart's performance as Rick Blaine in Casablanca is memorable, particularly due to the romantic scenes with Ingrid Bergman. Screenwriter Casey Robinson rewrote these scenes but declined screen credit, missing out on a potential Academy Award. In the film The Harder They Fall, Bogart played Eddie Willis, and despite rumors that his voice was redubbed, it is indeed his own. For the African Queen, the small boat used in filming couldn't accommodate cameras, so close-ups were shot on a raft. Most interior and water tank scenes were filmed in London, as were Robert Morley's scenes, which were later edited with African footage. Humphrey Bogart, the legendary actor, had a rich personal life that greatly influenced his work. He was known for his tough guy image on screen, but in real life, he was a loving husband and father. Bogart was married four times, and his third wife, Mayo Metha, was a fellow actress who shared his love for the theater, their tumultuous relationship, often referred to as the Battling Bogarts, was marked by frequent public arguments, which added to Bogart's reputation as a fiery and passionate individual. Bogart's personal values and interests were often reflected in his film choices. He was a staunch defender of artistic freedom and often took on roles that challenged the status quo. For instance, he starred in The African Queen alongside Catherine Hepburn, a film that tackled issues of colonialism and imperialism. Bogart's character, Charlie Olna, was a gruff and rugged individual who, despite his rough exterior, had a deep sense of morality and justice. In addition to his acting career, Bogart was also passionate about philanthropy. He was a founding member of the Rat Pack, a group of Hollywood stars who were known for their charity work. Bogart and his fellow Rat Pack members often performed at fundraisers and donated their time and resources to various causes. Bogart was particularly interested in supporting the Navy Relief Society, a charity that provided assistance to sailors and their families. Bogart's personal life and values also informed his work behind the camera. He was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and fought tirelessly for actors' rights and fair compensation. Bogart believed that actors were artists, not just entertainers, and he worked to ensure that they were treated with the respect and dignity they deserved. 
In conclusion, Humphrey Bogart was a complex and multifaceted individual whose personal values and interests greatly influenced his work both on and off the screen. His tough guy image belied a deep sense of morality and a commitment to social justice. Bogart's philanthropic efforts and support for actors' rights further cemented his status as a true Hollywood legend. Humphrey Bogart is best known for his role as Charlie Alma in The African Queen, which earned him his only Oscar. When it came to his next film, Beat the Devil, Bogart wanted John Huston as the director. However, Houston had scheduling conflicts with Moulin Rouge and a never-made project with Katherine Hepburn. As a backup, Nicholas Ray was considered, but Houston eventually directed Beat the Devil. Interestingly, Bogart and screenwriter Adela Rogers St. John's were related. Their grandparents were siblings, making them distant cousins. This familial connection added another layer to Bogart's film career. In summary, Humphrey Bogart's successful film career included notable roles in The African Queen and Beat the Devil with a family connection to Adela Rogers St. John's. His professional relationships and personal background contributed to his enduring legacy in cinema. Humphrey Bogart is a legendary actor, known for his distinctive style and unforgettable performances. His impact on the film industry is still felt today, with many of his films remaining classics. For those hoping to follow in his footsteps, Bogart would likely advise them to stay true to themselves and always strive for excellence. In order to succeed in acting, it's important to have a deep passion for the craft and a willingness to work hard. Aspiring professionals should be prepared to face rejection and criticism, but should never let that discourage them from pursuing their dreams. One key aspect of acting is the ability to convincingly portray a wide range of characters, which requires a great deal of emotional depth and versatility. Bogart himself was known for his ability to play complex and nuanced roles, and he would likely encourage others to develop their own range and versatility as actors. In terms of the future, the film industry is constantly evolving and presenting new opportunities for aspiring professionals. From advances in technology to changing audience preferences, there are many exciting developments on the horizon. For those looking to make their mark in the industry, Bogart's legacy serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of hard work, dedication, and a deep love for the craft of acting. By following in his footsteps and striving for excellence, aspiring professionals can honor his legacy and help shape the future of the industry. Humphrey Bogart, known for his iconic roles in films like The African Queen and In a Lonely Place, was ranked the greatest screen actor by the American Film Institute. After filming The African Queen, behind-the-scenes photographs taken by Lauren Buckhall were published, revealing private shooting information and causing protests from Romulus Films. Regarding his role in In a Lonely Place, actress Louise Brooks noted that it was the closest portrayal of the real Bogart she knew. These accolades and observations speak to Bogart's undeniable talent and enduring impact on the world of cinema. Humphrey Bogart's journey in the entertainment industry was nothing short of remarkable. Born in 1899, Bogart's passion for acting began on Broadway, where he honed his craft before transitioning to film. Throughout his career, he starred in numerous iconic films such as The Maltese Falcon, Casablanca, and The African Queen, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Bogart's innovative approach to his roles revolutionized the way actors approached method acting. He brought a sense of realism and complexity to his characters, making them relatable and memorable to audiences. His impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, as his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his career, Bogart never gave up on his passion. His perseverance and determination serve as a testament to the power of creativity and hard work. Through his work, Bogart reminds us that with dedication and a little bit of innovation, we can all leave our mark on the world. In the end, Humphrey Bogart's enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. His legacy serves as a beacon of inspiration for future generations of actors and filmmakers, encouraging them to push the boundaries of their craft and leave their own indelible mark on the world. Humphrey Bogart, standing at 5'8", shared a similar height with his beloved wife, Lauren Buckhall. 
One of his notable roles was in In a Lonely Place, where he played Dixon Steele. The script was initially close to the source novel, with John Derrick considered for the role due to the character's younger age. However, the final script, developed by Andrew Soult with input from Robert Lord and Nicholas Ray, differed significantly from the novel. Soult claimed Bogart loved the script and wanted to film it without revisions, but Ray made numerous rewrites. In The African Queen, a myth persists that the riverbank scenes were filmed in Dalian, Turkey. However, Catherine Hepburn's book confirms that the reed-filled sequences were shot on location in Africa, specifically Uganda, in Congo, and in London studios. Humphrey Bogart, known for his role as Harry Steve Morgan in To Have and Have Not, participated in a radio adventure series called Bull Venture with Lauren Bacall, a spin-off of the movie, in Knock on Any Door. Bogart played Andrew Morton and had concerns about delivering a long speech without cuts. Director Nicholas Ray reassured him, and the resulting sentencing statement for the defense sequence is now famous. In Sabrina, Bogart portrayed Linus Larrabee, but many critics felt he was miscast, suggesting William Holden for the role instead. In The Treasure of the Sierra Mater, Humphrey Bogart, as Fred C. Dobbs, was the target of a prank by director John Huston. A mousetrap was placed under a rock where Bogart's character was to reach for gold causing Bogart to jump when it snapped on his finger. Bogart also played the role of Philip Marlowe in The Big Sleep, one of only two Warner Brothers films for which Nobel Prize winning author William Faulkner received screenwriting credit. The other, To Have and Have Not, also starred Bogart and Lauren Buckhall and was directed by Howard Hawks. During the filming of To Have and Have Not, Bogart and Buckhall fell in love. Hawks, who is known for his womanizing ways, was reportedly jealous and threatened to sell Buckhall's contract to a low-budget studio. He also claimed that Bogart had fallen for Buckhall's character, not Buckhall herself, and that Buckhall would have to continue playing the role for the rest of her life. Humphrey Bogart's performance as Fred C. Dobbs in The Treasure of the Sierra Mater marked the beginning of a successful partnership with Tim Holutenant. The first scene they shot together also happened to be their first scene in the movie. Bogart is perhaps best known for his role as Rick Blaine in Casablanca. The famous line here is looking at you. Kid has been recognized as one of the greatest movie quotes of all time. Interestingly, this line was improvised by Bogart during the filming of the Parisian scenes and was included in later parts of the movie due to its effectiveness. Bogart had actually used the same line in Midnight, a film released in 1934. In the film Play It Again, Sam, the character Alan Felix, played by Woody Allen, is a big fan of Casablanca and Humphrey Bogart. The film's title is a reference to this obsession. Overall, Humphrey Bogart's iconic performances in these films have left a lasting impact on cinema history. Humphrey Bogart's portrayal of Samuel Spade in The Maltese Falcon differed significantly from the character's description in the book, standing in contrast to the over six foot tall, hook-nosed blonde depicted in the novel. In Knock on Any Door, Bogart's volatile behavior on set, influenced by his drinking problem, was notable as he and director Nicholas Ray engaged in cycles of binging and drying out. Despite their on-screen rivalry in Key Largo, Bogart and Edward G. Robinson held each other in high esteem. Bogart insisted that Robinson be given the respect due a major star, and he would not come to the set until Robinson was ready. Often, Bogart would personally escort Robinson to the set from his trailer. Humphrey Bogart, known for his role in Sabrina as Linus Larrabee, had a medical exam at 18 and a half years old, revealing his height as 5'7". In the sailboat scene with Sabrina, played by Audrey Hepburn, Bogart uses a phrase from the film Executive Suite, which also starred William Holden. In Beat the Devil, directed by John Huston, Bogart, playing Billy Danruth, crashed and ended up with a bloody mouth, but was not seriously injured. Houston couldn't help but laugh, and Bogart, in response, muttered a humorous line. These examples showcase Bogart's acting skills and his ability to bring humor and depth to his roles, making him a beloved figure in Hollywood history. Humphrey Bogart, a well-known figure in Hollywood, had a reputation for his actions at the famous restaurant, Romanoff's. He would often leave the table when the check arrived, particularly if he had invited a magazine writer to join him and his friends. 
the writer would then be left to pay the bill, which could include Bogart's expenses. In the movie of The Maltese Falcon, Bogart played the role of Samuel Spade. The character of Bridget O'Shaughnessy was initially offered to Geraldine Fitzgerald, but she declined the role. It was then given to Mary Astor, who was impressed by the excitement of Bogart, and director John Huston about the project. Bogart's portrayal of Lieutenant CM Dr. Philip Francis Quig in the K Mutiny is also noteworthy. During filming, a military advisor informed Bogart that no naval officer would break bread into small pieces as Quig did to symbolize the character's deteriorating mental state. However, Bogart chose to ignore this advice and kept the action in the film. Humphrey Bogart, known for his distinctive voice, had a speech defect in real life that was noticeably absent in his German dubbings. His main dubbing actor, Joachim Kemmer, provided a lower-pitched voice for Bogart's characters in German films. One of Bogart's most fitting roles was Dixon Dick Steele in In a Lonely Place, as described by actress Louise Brooks. She felt that this character, a screenwriter with a complex personality, closely mirrored Bogart's own traits. Bogart's career-defining role as Samuel Spade in The Maltese Falcon was given to him after Warner Brothers suspended him for refusing to appear in Bad Men of Missouri. This decision proved to be a turning point in his career, leading to his rise as a leading man in Hollywood. And in A Lonely Place, Bogart's character shares many of the actor's real-life traits, such as pride in his art, selfishness, and a tendency towards drunkenness and violence. These complexities made the role a perfect fit for Bogart, who excelled at playing characters with depth and nuance. Humphrey Bogart played a variety of characters throughout his career, but not all roles were favorites for him. In The Amazing Dr. Clearhouse, he portrayed Rox Valentine, a gangster, which he later expressed as one of his least favorite roles. In To Have and Have Not, Bogart acted alongside Lauren Buckhall, who had an affair with the film's director, Howard Hawks. Initially, actress Dolores Moran had a significant supporting role, but her part was downsized, and Bug Hall's role was expanded. Bogart's performance as Samuel Spade in The Maltese Falcon was highly regarded. His dialogue-heavy final scene with Mary Astor took three days to shoot, showcasing his acting skills and the film's attention to detail. Despite the challenges, Bogart's portrayal of Spade remains a classic film noir character. Humphrey Bogart, in the film Beat the Devil, played Billy Danruther, who was regarded as a little brother by Peter Lorre's character, despite Bogart being five years older. In The African Queen, Bogart, as Charlie Allnutt, and John Huston were the only ones who didn't fall ill, thanks to their diet of imported scotch whiskey, baked beans, and canned asparagus. Before his death in 1957, Bogart's friends, known as the Clan, were a group of heavy drinkers who called themselves the Homeby Hills Rat Pack, the term was coined by Bogart's wife, Lauren Buckall, after a night of heavy drinking. Sinatra later stopped using the name, and he and his friends disliked it when others continued to use it. However, it's important to note that Bogart's influence was instrumental in the creation and popularization of the Rat Pack. Humphrey Bogart played the character Philip Marlowe in the film The Big Sleep which was completed in January 1945, but not released in the United States until after the end of World War II. This delay was due to the studio's focus on releasing war-themed films. Lauren Buckhall, who also starred in the film, received negative reviews for her performance in Confidential Agent, leading to the addition of more scenes with Bogart to improve the film's reception. In The Cane Mutiny, Bogart played Lieutenant CM Dr. Philip Francis Quig and didn't appear until 26 minutes into the film sharing roughly the same amount of screen time as Tom Tully. Director John Huston had planned to make The Man Who Would Be King with Bogart and Clark Gable, but Bogart's death prevented the film from being made. Let's hear your thoughts on the legendary actor Humphrey Bogart. His work continues to inspire new generations of performers and film enthusiasts. If you have a favorite Bogart film or performance, share it with us in the comments below. Your engagement helps us create a vibrant community of movie lovers. Don't forget to like for, and share this post with your friends who appreciate Bogart's contributions to the entertainment world. By subscribing to our channel, you'll ensure you never miss a chance to celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped the films we cherish. Let's keep the conversation going about the enduring legacy of Humphrey Bogart 
and other influential figures in cinema.